What is going on with accuracy in this game? I get this question a ton. I see a lot of discussion about it, a lot of debating about it and, and comments uh, from a lot of my videos and other videos. Accuracy is this kind of nebulous thing that if you know how it works, great. But if you don't, the information is not just super readily available uh, to you in game as far as some of the finer details of it. So I wanted to give you guys a reference point and just talk a little bit about the basics of of how accuracy works, how what proccing is and how it works, what skills need accuracy, and a little bit of information about accuracy versus resistance. So uh, let's go ahead and jump in and <clears throat> and look at we'll just start, we'll just look at Tormund and we'll read the description of his A1. Attacks on enemies has a 15% chance of placing a freeze debuff for one turn. Okay, now. If you are a newer player, or this is maybe you've been playing for a while, uh, again, if you if this information is not anywhere to be read in the game, as far as I know. So if no one's told you this, uh, then then this seems like that this skill would just have a 15% chance to freeze the enemy. That is not the case, though. When a skill says it has a chance to do something, there's two different things that have to happen now for that debuff to be placed. So for Tormund to freeze someone, two things have to happen. The first thing being that 15% chance has to proc. Proc means programmed random occurrence, okay? So when you hear people say proc, uh, it's used in different ways, but an example of the way you would hear it stated in this case was, um, I'm hoping Tormund procs the freeze on his A1, right? I'm hoping that I, I hit that 15% chance to freeze it, because what happens then is the accuracy versus resistance roll takes place, okay? So there's two things that have to happen before this freeze gets placed. Now, the confusion comes, again, in the wording of the skill and that information not just being there for everybody to see and that has a 15% chance of proccing, a 15% chance of getting the opportunity to place the freeze, right? It, 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 it could be worded a little differently to be a bit clearer, but this is where the confusion comes in. Uh, I, I have gathered that a lot of people are under the impression that I, this just has a 15% chance of freezing and that for example this skill is going to remove all, remove all buffs because that's what it says and that's not the case accuracy is still going to be a factor in this one too okay uh, an example a, a skill description that kind of embodies everything I'm saying here is if we go to Ignatius and look at his A3 attacks all enemies has a 75% chance of placing an HP burn debuff for two turns this debuff cannot be resisted if it couldn't be resisted, then it couldn't have a 75% chance to play, to, to proc, right? So it's got a 75% chance to proc without books. If it procs, there's no accuracy roll. It's just going to get placed unless the enemy has blocked debuffs or something, right? Um, if you skill him up, this goes up to 100%, meaning every single time you use this skill, he's going to put an HP burn up on everybody that he hits that doesn't have blocked debuffs activated, okay? Uh, and that is because there will be a 100% chance to proc, which means every single time it happens. And the fact that it can't be resisted means there's no need for an accuracy versus resistance roll. It's just going to put the debuff, so debuff up. So this is the skill that kind of embodies, uh, I feel, to, to the best, to, to the furthest degree, that proccing and landing a debuff are different things, okay? So... Uh, now that we've differentiated the, what proccing is versus an, an actual accuracy and resistance roll, let's talk now about the things that need accuracy in this game, okay? Any red debuff, any red debuff that's going up, gonna require accuracy. Uh, anytime that you are removing buffs from an enemy, removing or stealing or whatever it is, unless the skill otherwise specifies, uh, it's gonna need accuracy, okay? Debuff extension or buff reduction. For example, Vizier can extend the amount of time that a debuff is up. Uh, Thinisle can reduce the amount of time that a buff is up on the enemy, okay? Um, accuracy does not apply to things that happen to your team. So, buff extension from someone or debuff reduction on yourself, that'll just happen. Anything you're doing to an enemy in this case is going to require accuracy. Turn meter reduction requires accuracy, and a cooldown increase or reset requires accuracy when being done to an enemy, okay? So Kaimar doesn't need accuracy to reset your team's cooldown so that they can use them again, but if you're trying to put a put an enemy on cooldown, whether it be extending it by one turn or fully 
putting it fully on cooldown, that's going to require accuracy, okay? And those things are important to know. But those things are going to require accuracy. In addition to anything else they may need, they're also going to require accuracy, okay? And again, sometimes the wording of the skill can be a little misleading. Here it just says removes all buffs from a target enemy and then does a thing. But if you if you use Torment or you've seen him enough in Arena, you've seen him use this skill and not remove buffs, and that's because he lost the accuracy roll. There's no chance to proc, so it's an accuracy versus resistance roll. Every time he uses the skill, sometimes you're just going to lose the roll, right? So keep that in mind. Um, another thing to note on accuracy and placing debuffs or harmful effects, they won't happen on weak hits. So, if an enemy lands, a, or if you land a weak hit on an enemy, it's not even, there's not even any point thinking about accuracy because it's not going to happen. I think Cantra can place debuffs on weak hits, but generally speaking, if you land a weak hit, you're not going to land a debuff, okay? That's, that's not, not going to happen in Raid. Th that's pretty much the basics. Some things to keep in mind are that in the same way that if you scaled at a certain point, you're not really doing yourself much good scaling your defense up. It, it doesn't just keep, it's it's not a, it's not like this, right? And eventually you're gonna start to get diminishing returns, which means you're getting less benefit for the amount of stat that you're stacking. So for example, if you are going into a dungeon the, the dungeon waves and the bosses have a base amount of resistance, okay? So, it doesn't really matter if you go in there with 250 accuracy or if you go in there with 900 accuracy. <laughs> because at 250, you're already higher... You're already enough higher than their resistance that it's pretty much just going to happen the way it's going to happen, so right? That, that gap, it, it kind of starts to taper off. So the, the gap, for example, between 200 and 250 is going to be much more of, a, of an increase than something like 600 to 900 would be, where it would, it would be kind of like a, a very small increase because, again, it, it, it's only going to go so much. You can't get to 100%. If you've got 1,000 accuracy and the enemy's got zero resistance, they could still resist your debuff sometimes, and vice versa. If you've got 1,000 resistance and the enemy has zero accuracy, they're still going to place a debuff on you sometimes. That's just the way that it's going to work. You're never going to get a 100% chance to do something unless the skill specifically states that that's the case. On, on Ignatius being an example of that, okay? Um, so the, 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 the bigger the gap gets, the less the gap <laughs> matters. Does that make sense? Um, now, there is a video out that Plarium put out about accuracy and resistance and stuff, and they say, that this is a number from Plarium, to reliably resist debuffs, and that doesn't mean every time, that just means more often than not, you need to have around 42 more resistance than the accuracy of whoever's trying to, to place a debuff or a harmful effect on you. That is, that is the gap that they think is the point where you are more than likely going to resist the debuff if there's a 42 point difference in those stats okay so having 400 more resistance than someone isn't doing you you know as much good as it sounds like it would again because it's not just a straight up line so uh, that that's when you start to get into the more complicated stuff that's why th there are general rules of thumb for accuracy generally people will say 10 times whatever dungeon floor you're trying to farm is what accuracy you should be shooting for. So for dungeons, you're looking for 200 if you're trying to farm stage 20. That's the general rule of thumb. Uh, other people will say that around 250 is pretty much the baseline for any in-game content you're trying to do. So Ultra Nightmare Clan boss, stage 20 dungeons, any of the in-game stuff you want to do is around 250. And then Arena is where things start to get a little bit cloudier because again, if someone's built a champion with 600 resistance and you've built a champion with 550 accuracy well they're still very close right so that 50 is going to play a, a meaningful part whereas if you've got 500 accuracy and the enemy has a thousand resistance the gap is not as big as you would think it would be 
based on how big the gap is with just those 50 points from 550 to 600, right? So arena, it gets a little bit more complicated. There's a little bit more to consider. That's why everybody stacks so high though, because everybody is stacking so high. <laughs> um, but everybody's on, on kind of a playing field, right? Depending on where you are in arena, you can kind of guesstimate what people are going to be running. But um, that's pretty much it. I, I, the, the main goal of this was to help you understand the difference between proccing and actually rolling your accuracy, uh, what things need accuracy, and then, uh, you know, the couple of little rules of thumb for the dungeons and things like that. So hopefully you're able to take something away from this. You learn something here. And you understand this a little better because again as far as i know this is not in the game anywhere i don't i don't know that you can read this anywhere in the game it's just i, I learned it in summoner's war and i have learned over the years that i've been playing these games that it generally applies to a if not exactly the same degree a very similar degree it's generally the same uh, across all these games where proccing is one thing and accuracy rolling is another um but again if you if, if you haven't been told then you don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's it, the game. I don't think the game tells you that anywhere. So uh, hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, drop them below. If you have any more information or anything you want to throw in, I'm always down for more info in the comments. Um, you know, helping each other out down there is, is great. So uh, again, hope it helped you. Hope you got a kick out of it. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you later.